this next book, Moon Cop. This author, I read another book by him, David and Goliath, I think the title is, or just called Goliath. I'll, I'll show it here. Okay, that's what it is, whatever is there. I, I can't see it, but you can. Uh, this one is called Moon Cop. It's a very short read. I read it in maybe half an hour or less. And I've been following this guy, Tom Gold. His art and his cartoons show up in New Scientist, my one of my favorite magazines. So I like his style. It's very uh, soft and easy to read. All, all three of the books that I'm doing this, this week, the art styles are very simplistic, but don't let that deceive you. That still is a... Uh, effective means of telling the story. You don't need super realism to tell a really cool story. So anyways, Moon Cop, it's sort of set in the near future. These people are living on the moon. Uh, I'm not going to give away too much, but they're kind of migrating away. It has a very desolate feel. This isn't scary by any means. It's not Aliens or uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey or anything like that. There's nothing negative. It, it reminds me of... Uh, one of my favorite movies, True Stories, in which the conflict is all internal. There's no external conflict between characters. They're very minimal. All the real conflicts, for example, John Goodman's character in that movie is, he's really struggling within himself, and I love that. And Tom Gold does something very similar in this book that, uh, this is a book you could read to a kid. They might enjoy it. If you have a child person in your life, maybe you can <laughs> share this with them, uh, your children enjoy this moon cop story moon cop is a <laughs> it's a funny title and a funny font I, i've used this font before actually and it uh, has a very 1980s feel to it yeah i don't have much more to say this it's a good read a light read not going to change your life maybe but it's uh, a good use of half an hour read it <laughs>